Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome officially to the year of 2020. We're only three days in, and we have already a lot of FNAF news. Of course, we all know about the books and the games and maybe even like a movie poster or something that are coming out later this year, but right now, we already have at least three very important things to talk about. Now, we're only going to be talking about one in this video, and the other two are going to have to wait a little bit longer. Those other two being, first up, the Into the Pit review, which I'm going to start reading this over the weekend. Finally, I'm going to have time to just sit down and go through it. It's really not that long, so it shouldn't take me too, too long. And I didn't even know about the second thing, but apparently, um, there's been a preview for the second Fazbear's Frights book called Fetch that has come out, so I'm gonna need to read that, and then I'll do a preview video on that. Illumix is not wasting any goddamn time on updating FNAF AR. They have not even ended their holiday event with Toy Chica and Freddy Frostbear, and they're already starting a brand new update for the game. So just in case you guys don't have Twitter or you don't follow Illumix or FNAF AR Official on Twitter, let me give you a little bit of an insight on what they posted the other day. So they posted this teaser the other day, and at first, it doesn't really look like it's anything special. It's more or less just to promote the brand new holiday update and the new characters that were added with it. You got the Endo posing in front of all of the, all of the different gift boxes that has like Baby on it. You can see Chica, Foxy back there, uh, Toy Chica, and Freddy Frostbear. It's really just to promote the game. Uh, again, you've got Baby, Bonnie, Chica, Springtrap even. But if there's one thing Scott has taught us over these many years of looking at FNAF images, is that you got to look closer. Whether you gotta brighten it up or whether you gotta open it in a, in a text file, you always gotta look into these images deeper. And if you do that with this image, you can find something unbelievably exciting. So if you look below the big golden gift box that the Endo was leaning on, you can find an inverted colored wrapping paper on a gift box. Now first up, that's weird. Why is that the only gift box that has inverted colors on it? Well, it's to freaking throw you off. If you look super, super, super close, you can actually spot out Plus Trap, along with Lefty, and freaking Fun Time Freddy. Honestly, we knew Plus Trap and Lefty were coming to the game. We knew that. Plus Trap has been has been teased for a super super long time, and Lefty was just recently teased in the launch trailer for the game. But freaking Fun Time Freddy, we had no clue he was going to be added, and I am so so excited. Now, if you have not seen Doco's 2020 FNAF news video yet. I, I honestly and truly do highly recommend it. It's just a nice refresher of all the stuff that's going to be releasing this year, from games to books to maybe even like a possible movie poster, we don't know. But in it, he brings up this image and he gives his insight on it, and he reveals that he's actually been talking to the CEO and founder of Illumix about possible new features for the game. He revealed that he's been talking to Illumix about maybe even adding in a leveling up system, which is something I really, really, really want. Maybe even some more options for customization with the characters they have in the workshop. And that really, really, really does give us hope because as we've seen, especially with this recent holiday event, Illumix is really, really looking at the fan base for feedback for the game, hoping that they take it this game could turn out to be really, really, really good. The main problem I have with FNAF AR, personally, is that it's fun for, for a point. It's fun for a little bit, and then it just, there's not much replayability, is what I'm trying to say. I think Lewis also mentioned this in his video, but personally, for me, like, I'll get on and I'll see someone has been sending me, for example, someone's been sending me Freddy Frostbear. Thank you for whoever is sending me that, it really helps me out. Haven't gone in his suit, though, yet, so that makes me mad. So like, I'll log on, I'll see that someone sent me him, I, you know, I'll be just like, eh, we'll see if I can get a suit so that I can play that game. Um, and then I'll see that someone else sent me something, and then I'll be, I'll get up to a high streak, and then I'll die for some absurd reason. God, I wish I was recording, because that Freddy, he literally gave me like a second to react to shock him. That was complete bullcrap. I was about to beat my high score as well, sorry, I'm rambling. And after I lost my streak, I was like, okay, I've had enough. I basically raged quit. So hopefully with the addition of these three new characters to the game, it's going to have a lot more replayability. I want to talk about what I think 
should be added to FNAF AR to help make it a better game. Starting off with the first three characters, that is absolutely amazing. Obviously, there was, they were going to add more characters, and I really actually do hope that they don't add, like, Plus Trap, and then a little bit later on they add Lefty, a little bit later on they add Funtime Freddy. I hope they release one big update adding in these three new characters. My current idea of what I hope they're going to do is maybe within the next, like, two weeks, they will end the holiday event, hopefully keeping Toy Chica and Freddy Frostbear in the game for those people that don't have a suit yet. And then with that update, they'll add in Plus Trap, Lefty, and Funtime Freddy. I really, really hope that is what's going to happen. New mechanics. Obviously, I really want there to be new mechanics. We learned with the holiday update that Illumix can make pretty good mechanics when they set their minds to it. Toy Chica with the mask, amazing. I loved that a lot. Freddy Frostbear when he freezes your screen, not really a mechanic, but was still a cool touch. I really hope they do something for at least Funtime Freddy and Lefty. I don't really know what they could do with Plus Trap. Maybe he'll be like completely separate, and instead of like trying to catch him, you have to get him onto a certain like section of the phone. Kind of a reference to getting him on the red X in the FNAF 4 minigame. I don't know, I feel like they're just gonna do the same thing with him, which honestly I'm fine with. Lefty, I'm not as creative, so I don't know what new mechanic they could add in for Lefty. Maybe like a music box mechanic, and then they could use that later on for, let's say they add in the puppet, they could use that music box mechanic as well. Funtime Freddy, maybe like a controlled shock, though I think that's a bit too similar to just the normal shock. I don't know, maybe they can add in a mechanic that's like a reference to his section in Sis location when you're in the, um, not the parts and service room, like the boiler room, when you're like hovering your mouse over the buttons and they fill up a certain percent. percent. I don't know, something like that, just any new mechanic I would really like. Obviously, new voice lines. We already know that Lefty's voice actress has recorded lines already for Lefty. She posted that like months and months and months ago um, on her Instagram, which as far as I'm aware, she deleted that post, so I'm guessing she wasn't supposed to say anything just yet. It's kind of weird though that they recorded Lefty's lines and then just didn't do anything with Lefty, like they didn't add him in to the like launch release of the game. I don't know, I just find that weird. Same thing with Plus Trap, they've been teasing him basically since the start and he's not in the game yet. I really do hope Kellen comes back to record new lines for Funtime Freddy, though Funtime Freddy and all the characters that Kellen has voiced don't really have any new voice lines, but I really hope Kellen records some new voice lines. That would be amazing. You know what they could do? They could do a section of like, um, smaller games for Bon Bon and Plus Trap, because they're, you know, pretty small animatronic, so they could do something separate with those type of characters. And that would fit in really well, because they could do that for other small animatronics, like if they add in Lefty, or maybe like the Freddles, I don't know, I think it would be cool to see like a separate mini game in the game for smaller animatronics. Also, there's times in the game when animatronics just don't show up, so the addition of brand new ones is going to be super, super, super good. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys are excited for the brand new update coming to FNAF AR. Hopefully very soon, I know I am. So, thanks for watching, get hyped, and I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye.